ready to do a whiskey tasting. Scotch. 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 Scotch whiskey right. drinks by the dram. Glenkitchi Distillery is located southeast of Edinburgh and is surrounded by a landscaped garden. The evocative aromas of flowers are mirrored in their whiskey. Their 12 year old is a light and delicate whiskey due to distillation in some of Scotland's largest stills. The perfect overture for our tasting set. Take a look at the color. That's pretty light. Golden, very golden. Yes. Honey, almost like honey. Almost like honey. A quick sniff with my mouth open. <laughs> it's light. First thing I felt was toast, or that kind of just a hmm. like a malty. I, I don't. I'm not that familiar with the different flavor profiles, but to me, it tastes like Woodford. Well, yeah, it's and it smells like, like Woodford. To me, it smells a little bit lighter or a little fruitier. Hmm. Well. Go, uh, let, Alan's gonna go open the Woodford so we can at least sniff that and see. Bourbon. Yeah, bourbon. Does it smell the same? The Woodford actually smells more buttery. Oh, wow. Okay, all right, hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's very different. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. There are tasting notes on the nose. You can smell the garden, floral and honey notes mm -hmm. with freshly cut grass and caramel. I didn't say I felt that. No, I, the caramel. Yeah. Okay. The that, yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. That's the caramel. That's what I would say. Toast mm -hmm. is, is the caramel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Palette. A fruity, crisp palette with grapes and green apple. And the finish is a faint coffee, vanilla, and subtle fruits, and a reappearance of grassy notes. I don't feel the coffee, but no. the fruits and the grassy notes, yeah. Okay. Uh, Tobermory Distillery is situated on the west coast Isle of Mull. Mull! Yes. yes, we're going, we might go to Mull. Yeah, an island uh, often yeah. lashed by the wild waves of the yes. North Atlantic Ocean. Wow. Tobermory is one of the oldest commercial dis, uh, distilleries in Scotland, founded in 1798. Uh, released in 2019, their 12 year old is matured in American oak cast. American oak. Yes. Hmm. So. That's interesting. I wonder why American oak. This is. Let's see. That's see the light. difference? Yeah. Wow. Okay. This so. is more of a. Uh, well, I would say more honey like color, don't you think? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I like that better. The nose is floral notes dominance with salted caramel and hints of spice. That's it's the hints of spice. Yeah. Yeah. There's On the palate, orange and citrus notes like mingle with vanilla, cinnamon, and clove. That's it. The cinnamon and clove those come through. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, this. Uh, is the Fife Arms Blended Malt 
aims to create a style of whiskey ideally suited to the hotel. Mm. Our whiskey bar, Birdie's, takes its name from King Edward VII, known as Birdie to his family and friends. Yes. Birdie's love of opulence is yes. mirrored with this rich, deep blended malt. And luckily, you don't have to uh, be royalty to enjoy it. Okay. Now this so we have to use a wine glass for this. So. Yeah, but it has a narrow opening. Yeah. Yeah, the color is kind of in between okay, the yeah, other two. Look. Okay, there's right, that, there's one. that one. That's the darker. That's the that's the the Tobermory. That's the darker one. But here's the first one, which was really light. So it's like kind of right in between. Yeah. Okay. Here so go. here we go. This one. Ooh. You smell the. Well, you smell the uh, the 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 charcoaly, oaky. Did you open your mouth? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. This is so smoky. Yeah, notes. Rich, sherried notes with a touch of smoke. You definitely get the smoke. Yeah, this is supposed to be a creamy mouthfeel with dark fruits, sherry, candied peel, and pepper. It's a very strong smoke. Yeah. Very strong smoke flavor. Um, hmm. it's, yeah, they say to a the cream. Point of bitterness, really. Like. Well, I can see the pep I feel the pepper coming in there. I don't I'm not seeing the the well, I guess by dark fruits they mean the burned up ones. Because <laughs> you got a lot yeah. of smoke. But yeah, at, at towards the end you start getting the pepper. So there's hmm. that one. That's this is the Mortlock, 16 year old. And he's going to try the Mortlock. Mm. Mm. Smells good. Let's see. Mmm. Yeah, I like I like that one. Um, on the nose is raisins, baked apples, toffee, and orange peel, reminiscent of Christmas. Muscovado sugar, and a dairy notes that are the hallmark of Mortlock Distillery. Dark molasses oh, yes. and charred oak give body and depth. Yeah, but it's not. It's. It, oh, that's funny because the one that was so smoky, uh, that was not pleasant. This no, this is... is. <laughs> Kilchoman Makir Bay. <laughs> I'm sure he's pronounced it exactly. I'm sure. I'm, you tell him I'm Scottish, you know. Uh, okay. Kilchoman Distillery is Islay's only farm distillery and takes whiskey production back to its roots, growing much of their own barley and maturing and bottling on site. This whiskey is a vatting of spirit matured in first fill bourbon cask from around six years before being finished in <laughs> Okay. Ola, ola, Olorosa, Olorosa yeah, yeah. Sherry. Uh, what? I, okay, hold on. Hang on. Oloroso Sherry Butts. What? That's what it says. <laughs> Oloroso Sherry Butts. Oloroso Everything should be finished, finished in, in Sherry Butts. Oloroso Sherry Butts. See, okay. never, never underestimate the value of a Sherry Butt. That's right. What a Sherry Butt is, we don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I'm sure it's probably some sort of barrel or mm -hmm. something. And, but you're getting the, the, the bottom end of it, I guess, right? The sherry butt. Sherry butt, yes. And this one is the smoke one. 
This is what they say oh, is smoke. more smoke than... Wow. Smoke appears to be a big thing. Well, yeah. With, I mean, you uh, have to... When you're with, with the malt... Yeah. Is, is, oh, my goodness, though. Wait, it doesn't, wait, wait. Look at the difference in color. It That's doesn't look so very... so much more golden than this. Or, no, this is more... Brassy. This 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 is the other really smoky one. Okay, but then there's this one. This is the one in between them. This yeah. was. Okay, so hold on, don't mess it up. No, I I, I got it right. I got it. So this this one goes here. That looks like it should be more smoky, but it's not. That's interesting. Okay, so now this one. And that's the one they say is going to be smoky. Oh. Really? Yes. Okay. It's smoky. Yeah, go ahead. Smoke from a seaside... It's like exhaust fumes. No, 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 no. This is smoke from yeah. a seaside campfire combined with soft minerality and earthy vanilla sweetness that transports you to the island of Islay. I... I, I, I can... Think if if you had a you had a campfire, yeah, on the beach, and you poured salt water on it, and it was all wet and damp, and it wasn't a fire anymore. That's the smell. It, yeah. yeah. But what has the taste? Well, that's give what we're her, gonna... give her a try there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Open your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lori, uh, what did you think of the last one? It's horrible. <laughs> she horrible. doesn't like it. it oh my it's gosh. A, she's, she's definitely not a smoky. It tastes whiskey. like uh, burnt plastic. Burnt plastic? Yeah. It was horrible. No. Ugh. I think I need some water. Well, speaking of water, now we're supposed to taste them all again with just a few drops of water in each. Okay. The Glintinchi, mm -hmm, twelve-year-old. Like that flaming is pleasant, light and pleasant. Let's see. Oh, it definitely takes the edge off of it. Kimchi with a little bit of water mm. comes up with all the garden floral notes that they were talking about. It really about. does. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Funny? Yeah. Okay. So now yeah. this is the Tobermory, mm -hmm. which they say was also floral notes, and the orange and citrus and the spicy ones. Oh, I wonder ones. if we're gonna because this one Ooh. you could taste the the spice. This one, this one now Remember? you can you can definitely make out the cinnamon. That was and. This is the and one I with the spice. Yeah, I'm curious to taste it because that was that came through right away for me, just without the water out of The first one was was yeah. is better with the water. This one it's still okay. It's, it that takes the bite off of it, but I don't think that it changes the flavor too much. I can smell the you can smell the cinnamon more. Ooh, you can smell the spice it. more. You, yeah, the second when I took the second drink, it was more like a, a cinnamon toast type of. Yeah. Thing. So it's is the Fife Arms blended. This was the smoky one to begin with. Yeah. The first smoky took, one. Until we got the real smoky one at the end. This one, it, it, not as smoky. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's more like Woodford now. It, it's more like a smoke from a, a, a barrel, barrel smoke. Yeah, and you get the pep. It's yeah, it's uh, yeah, pepper. Yeah, pepper on the end of it. It, it, the water is definitely. 
allowing the different flavors to come through a little bit more. Okay, so this is the real super smoky one. But, wait a minute, was this the one? This wasn't the campfire one. No, this is okay. the campfire one. So that's why it's like, let's try this okay. one right after it. Yeah. This is with the water in it. It makes it more like a campfire, not uh, less plastic. Oh, I can't. I don't like it. Okay. No. Yeah. Oh, it's the, it, the, the water does make it seem less plasticky. There's something about it that really does not. Yeah. So we have this one. And then, well, yeah. We didn't do that one. We haven't done this one because this is the this is the rich one. This is the Mortlock, 16 year. Okay. Oh. Wow, this smells like Christmas. That's yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna try that again because that uh, the pepper from from yeah, this smoke one is like ah, it was coming through. These two, right here. Well, I like the 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 first one. I, the first one was the first, good. It's good with with the water. I like it with the water. Yeah, I, they're all good. I mean. But if I was going to buy one, I think I think the one you're having right now is the one I'd buy. Out of these, which is your favorite? Oh, most definitely this one. And mine is mine is the the Mortlock. No, mine's the Mortlock. Mine's the Mortlock. But you like the Fife? You like no, the Fife no, Arms? No, 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 no. I thought it was the Mortlock. Oh my gosh. The Mortlock, that was the more amber mm -hmm. colored of them. This one was the 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 Fife and Arms was was a good smoke one with a little if you put a little bit of water in it. If yeah, you're looking so for that I, smoky I'm flavor. This one. I didn't like the smoke. Uh, the the, the very first one, the Glen Glen Kinchy, when you put the water in it, that definitely made it very floral and mm -hmm. gardeny and it's like they said light. And, and light and very good. And I would drink it. Um, the only thing I think we're both in agreement is uh, this uh, I, Kurt I, Coleman is just way too smoky. I, way too smoky. I can't do that. I mean, even, I mean. Look, he's even sniffing like he's been standing in front of a fire. In front of a fire. And we've got, <laughs> yeah. you know, mouth, you know, the whole nose full of smoke. So, yeah. but overall, very good. And yes. now we're going to go pass out because we've been drinking a lot of stuff. Yeah. So. All right. <laughs> Thank you.